welcome to transcendental basis base of vedic knowledge in glimpse 6 we are going to be face to face with organization of mandals and astaks along sukta's range of sakal rigved samita let us have the text of rigved samita let us be through the first richa agin mile prohitam yagyasse devam ritvijam hotaram ratnadhatvam let us write this text letter by letter syllables by syllable and let us see that the rishi of this richa the first richa rishi is madhu chanda devta is Agni Chand is Gayatri and Swar is Shaj Rishi Madhuchanda Devta Agni Chandas Gayatri Swar Shadaj this richa of mandal one ashtak one adhyaya one anuvak one is of sukta one and varga one this richa is the first richa of Sukta one. This first richa is again Mile Uruhitam Yagyasse. Devam Ritvijam Hotaram Ratnadhatvam Richa one, the first richa of Sagal Rig Sakal Rigved Samita is of the first varga, first sukta, first anuvak, first adhyaya, first astek and first mandal. The rishi of this richa is Madhu Chanda, Devta is Agni, Gayatri is the Chandas and Shad is the Swara. Rishi is seer and we know that the mandals are of the format of creative boundary of 10 components of transcendental domain we are at the first mandal first we know that this creative boundary with its take off takes to the external extension. Inward we know there is a transcendental domain which is of a solid order. So five space is the domain and three space is the dimension. Dimension superimposed upon the domain as such 
makes an inward expansion. This is reaching Ashtax. Let us have a pause here and see that formulation mandal is of Tc value 29 which is parallel to Tc value of formulation Brahma the overlord of four space creators the space. Four space here is in the role of a creative boundary. Lord Brahma is the overlord of hypercube 4 representative regular body of a four space and here with the first component we are at the first mandal. Further we know that solid dimensional frame of transcendental domain itself is of an origin so four space is playing the role of origin of the solid dimensional frame of the transcendental domain and four space as such is enveloped within a creative boundary of eight components it is this feature that it is enveloped within the solid boundary of eight components as such the first component solid component will be providing us the format for the aspect as such the transcendental domain with the setup of value 8 and further it being enveloped within the creative boundary and each creative boundary itself is enveloped within a solid boundary of 8 components 8 multiplied by 8 as value 64 is the value of the 64 adhyas and 4 space with its strip off will be dimensionalizing the outer space as a 6 space of the creative dimensional order and it is this reach which is making a value 64. Still further we know that four space as a creative boundary of the transcendental domain of a solid dimensional order of five solid dimensions and each creative boundary component itself being enveloped within a solid boundary of eight components make 8 into 10 plus 5 is equal to 85. It is this value which is the value of the unwax. Like that we see that the organizations Mandal as an external organization, Astex as an internal organization and unification of the both phenomenon as Adhyayas and further as an wax takes us parallel to the way there is going to be a unification of the internal and external organizations in it as such is taking us to the format of a sthapatya miring rod sthapatya miring rod is a synthetic setup of the representative regular bodies of hypercubes 1 to 6 of 1 space to a 6 space. Further we know that domain boundary ratio of hypercubes is a raised to power n is to 2n b raised to power n minus 1. Therefore at the domain the values are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 while at the boundary the values comes to be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and 12. It is this feature which will help us appreciate that when we are transcending from one space to a two space then within two space we can have one space as well as two space interval and square 
with the, the square itself. So here when the value will be 1, here value will become 1 plus 2. A step ahead within a cube, we can have the expression for the interval square as well as the cube within a cube. It gives us a value 1, 2 and 3 is equal to 6. Therefore, this progression will take us to value 1, 3, 6, 10, 15, 21 and like that progression. Here we will have the value 2, 2 plus 2, 4, 2 plus 2 plus 2, 6 and progressing like this. This phenomenon is at the domain range is the phenomenon of the dimensional synthesis. The dimensions of linear order, single dimension is giving value 1, pair of dimensions give us value 3, triple dimensions give us value 1 plus 2 plus 3 is equal to 6 and so on. The spatial dimensions give us value 2, 2 plus 2, 2 plus 2 plus 2 and so on. See the difference values minus 1, minus 1 and 0. And like that, with this difference value, we can reach at the synthesis of the values of the solid dimensions, which will give us value 3, 5, 6 and so on. It is this reach, with the help of this difference, which gives us a rule for reaching at the dimensional synthesis values. A step ahead, we know that the domain splits into a pair of dimensions. Then this pair of dimensions itself being domains, it will split into a pair of dimensions at each step. It is this step further we know here will be dimension of a dimension which also will split into a pair of dimensions. It is this phenomenon which will take us to 2, 4, 6. As such, the sadhakas fulfilled with the intensity of urge to be face to face with the organization format of the Vedic knowledge as samitas in particular of Sakal Rigvid Samhita shall sequentially reach at from the transcendental base of within a creative boundary steps to the Sthapatya Mairing Rod and from here to reach at the phenomenon of the dimensional synthesis and domain separate spectrum. A step ahead now let us revisit the first richa. The richa gives us again melee the first word is Agni, then is Prohitam, Pur, then Yagyasse, then Devritism, then Hotaram, then Ratanadhatvam. These formulations as such deserves to be revisited and deserve to be operate, operate and seen as these are organized. Let us visit the formulation Agni. It is a composition of really letters these quadruple letters are being availed these are of value 1 2 3 and 8 it leads us to value 14 further we know value 14 is accepting organization as 2, 3, 4, 5, which is parallel to the fourfold manifestation layer of hypercube 4, the representative regular body of a force space presided by Lord Brahma. This first organization, 1, 2, 3, and 8, is an enlightenment of the Sarteshwar Upanishad as that sequentially. When we are having single dimensions, then we have pair of dimensions, then we have three dimensions, means it is a setup within a three space. Step ahead, there is a four space, and this four space is of a spatial order of quadruple spatial dimensions. There are four spatial dimensions. It is this enlightenment 
that the fourth dimension becomes a special dimension and it is this reach which will help us appreciate as to how hyper circles 1 to hyper circles increase and there happens to be decrease from hyper circles 8 onwards but this phenomenon is there as at the initial 7 steps we are parallel to the 7 geometries range of 3 space and then a step ahead the linear order exhausts and it is to be replaced by the spatial order if we have to maintain the continuity of the progression. This progression will be ahead from 7th steps onwards only if we have a transition from linear order to a spatial order. The modern mathematics when is confronted with a situation as to how and why it is happening that hyper circles 1 to 7 increase and 8 onwards there happens to be decrease and that too between the whole numbers values 3 and 4 somewhere at the middle the moment the middle is crossed there happens to be a phenomenon and it is this phenomenon which is there because of a transition from a linear order to a spatial order therefore the modern mathematics is to transit is to transform its axioms is to and we have to reach from the linear order to a spatial order that means the half of the stapatya rod up till three steps is to be working with a different formation and the second half of the stapatya mirroring rod is to be of a different formation here there is going to be linear order at play and here there will be a spatial order at a play it is this shift from the linear order to a spatial order which deserves to be comprehended well to be parallel with the Vedic systems. The next formulation is Yajna. This formulation is of TC value 13. We know that within 4 space, 3 space body cube, a 12 edged cube is having a degree of a freedom of a motion and this degree of freedom of motion along the fourth dimension of a four space manifests as the 13th edge. Further we know that hypercube 6 is having 13 geometries range. It is this feature that the Yajna, a formulation which in the context of a creator's the space in the role of a dimension is going to provide us 13 edged cube. However, the creation of a six space, a self referral domain, six space domain will be an attainment of 13 geometries range. It is this reach at the dimension level being the creator's the space in the role of dimension and in the domain aspect reaching at hypercube six of 13 geometries range. A step ahead there is a formulation prohitam. This is word ur and it is of TC value 12 and this value is parallel to that a raised to power 6 is equal to 12 b raised to power 5. There is a transcendental boundary for the self-referral domain. It is this transcendental boundary of the self-referral domain which is going to be the pur, the domain and it is the interest of it, it is for reach for it, there happens to be yajna. The yajna is for having an attainment because we started initially with the base of a transcendental boundary within a creator's space. Now a step ahead, our yajna is going to be, our efforts are going to be, our pusharth is going to be that we should have a role for the five space domain as a boundary of a six space. It is this attainment which is going to be there. Let us have a pause here and see that formulation Rishi 
is a formulation which is of letters re, sha and e. It is of TC values 4, 6 and 2. This as such gives us a value 2, 4 and 6 which is parallel to 4 space as dimension of a 6 space and 2 space in the role of dimension of a 4 space. Therefore, Rishi is a seer who will transcend. He will transcend within 6 space and this transcendence within 6 space is going to be along its creative so from 6 space we will reach at 4 space from here we will reach at 2 space. Once this transcendence is there within it we will be reaching up till the origin. This origin is going to be 7 space which is of a transcendental order and therefore the Rishi seer will glimpse by transcending within self-referral domain along the creative dimensional frame which itself is of a spatial dimensional frame and by this transcendence we will glimpse it. The glimpse would be of the origin. It is going to be seven space in the role of an origin and it itself is of a transcendental order. Therefore, reach is going to be from creative dimensional order to a transcendental order and it is this <coughs> which is a chandas. We know that five space as dimension is going to take us to five, six, seven and eight which is of value 26 which is the TC value of formulation devta. Rishi is a transcendence, a seer and observer and it observes this devta, a domain. That means this devta, this observation is the aim and then there happens to be a filtering. This filtering is to, going to be the domain is seven space as such splits a six space itself. This split is going to be six, six and seven which is of value 19 and we know the value, the formulation chand is of TC value 19. As such, Rishi, a seer, transcends and glimpses the origin, a devta, a domain and here there happens to be a filters. This filtering myers is happens to be a split for the six space domain as the seven space transcends out. Now it is going to be a swara. Once we will come out that means a creative space in the role of a dimension giving place to transcendental domain in the role of a dimension and five space we know is a solid dimensional frame of value 15 and it comes to be swara. Therefore the reaching Rishi, Devata, Chandas and Swara is a step by step a phenomenon that we have to transcend within the domain. By transcending within the domain we have to be face to face with the origin. At the origin we will see that the moment the origin transcends out there happens to be a split for the domain. With this split in the domain we reach at the five space in the role of and a dimension and five space itself is framed within a dimensional frame of value 15. These are the swaras. So swara, chandas, devta and rishi is a formatting, is a processing steps. These quadruple processing steps are here in the context of the first richa to be in terms of a madhu chanda, agni, gaitri and chade. So the swar here is shadj and it is of value we know this is 7, this is 6, this is 4, this comes to be 17. That means swara is 15 and here we have to reach from 15 to 17. Then gaitri is the, here the gaitri is the chandas. The value of gaitri we know is 7 and 11. This is 4 and 4 and 2, 6 and 6 and then it is going to be 11, is going to be 17. Now the chandas is of value 19 and we are reaching at its dimension C. 
in the context of Swara, we are reaching from 15 to 17. Means here the phenomenon is to reach from dimension to a domain. And here in the case of Chandas, we are reaching from domain to a dimension. A step ahead, we are having Agni. Agni is of TC value 14. And we know that Devta is of value 26, which is of value 14 plus 12 means it is a superimposition of the dimension upon a domain. Then it's the Rishi, here is value 12 and here is value we know 20 and 22 and 20. This is 42. It is 22 plus 20. This is 42 which is equal to 30 plus 12 and we know 12 is the value of 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 and 12 is the 2 times 6 so it is the boundary components plus the domain created by 6 space in the role of a dimension so these features together simultaneously are at play and at work in terms of which we have to appreciate the richer it is this richer which is to be appreciated for Agni as a Devta and for it we have to have a Yajna, a Yajna. We know Agni is 14, we know Yajna is a 13, we know 14 takes us to 4 space hypercube 4, 13 amounts to a degree of freedom of motion for the solids manifesting 13th edge towards the 4th dimension. Then these are Devas and we will be reaching it sequentially like that. And further here in this context when we will be reaching it then in fact we are trying to see that as reach of 1 we are covering only 24 letters. So reach of 1 is helping us cover 24 letters. There are 10,000 552 richas. There are 4,32,000 syllables. Like that, this reach from richa 1, we are having only a coverage of 24 steps out of 4,32,000 steps. If we are moving mandal wise, then we know the first sukta is having two vargas and the second sukta is as is heavy the first sukta is giving us sequentially the vargas then the second the first mandal then the first anuvak then here is the second anuvak. The first anuvak of three steps of three suktas and second anuvak is of four suktas and we are going to have we are going to have the seven suktas and here we are having a reach for the fourteen vargas. Therefore, if we reach on walk wise, then the first on walk is having coverage of three suktas and of six vargas. The second on walk will be having coverage of four suktas and of eight vargas. It is this way that we can have a chase on walk wise and simultaneously we will be having a reach mandals and astaks. However, if we are along the mandal astaks along the suktas range, then in column 1 let us mention mandals, in column 2 let us mention the suktas and then we have a total suktas range of 1028. Now in the second part of the table we have an organization of the 8 astaks then see that first stack is having only 121 suktas 
first mandal is having 191 suktas like that we will be reaching at 1028 suktas for all the 8 astaks range and for all the 10 mandals range and then here see the first 4 mandals and the first 3 astaks are practically taking us to at 354 in case of mandals and 364 in case of the astaks the difference value is 10 then these seven mandals are taking us to value 620 while here the value is going to be 633 and value difference is 13. Then the ninth we are having 837 suktas or here we are having 874 suktas and we know the difference value is 37. So this difference value and this reach from 4 then to 7 and then to 9 here to have a reach from 3 to 5 to 7. It is These are the coordination, these are the organization features along the Suktas range for the chase progression of the Mandals and Aztecs. It is like this that we have to be face to face with the organization format features of having coordinations for Mandals with Aztecs and Mandals Anastaks both with Adhyas and then further with the Anwaks, then as Suktas, Vargas, then Richas, Aksharas, and then the feature, manifest and unfeature. Here we are mentioning the Suktas 1024, while we know there are actually 1028. This figure we are writing as we know that 2 raised to power 10 is equal to this value and then there remains a 4 as an extra transcending this format. We will be seeing to it why we are accepting this feature in the context of 1028 as there are 10 mandals and we know 2 raised to power 10 is giving us value 1024 and therefore it is this way that there are different aspects of coordination there are this, this different features of organization. It is this organization format features which are to be visualized, which are to be comprehended. And these are also have to be comprehended in terms of these formulations as well. Say the formulation Ashtak is giving us value 30. And we know the value K as Brahma will take us to value 16. It is this value 13 to 16 is parallel to a reach from 13 Ganita Upsutras to 16 Upsutras. Further, it is also parallel to the organization format of the 13th chapter of Shri Durga Sati, which is having a organization along 9 class 11 organization format, and the upper part is having precisely organization as. 13 plus 16 reflection pairs. This way we see that Sakla Rigved Samhita is the source of scripture of the pure values of Vedic systems and Shri Durga Sapsati is the source of scriptures of end reach applied values of the Vedic systems. Pure values and applied values run parallel to each other. Therefore, sadhakas fulfilled with intensity of urge to be face to face with this parallel organization format features of pure values and of applied values shall take Sakal Rigved Samhita and Shri Durga Sapsati as the pair of source scriptures. It is in terms of this pair of source scriptures that one can feel, one can realize that one is parallel to the organization format features of the Vedic systems. Pure values and applied values are simultaneously being chased, are being simultaneously available and one can be face to face with it. One can attain the pure and applied values of the Vedic systems by initiating themselves, by exposing themselves to the organization formats of this pair of source scriptures namely Sakal Rigved Samta and Shri 
Durga Satsati. From next session, we shall be taking up each richa in detail so that we can have an intimate exposure so that we should be intimately face to face with the Param Vinyom Lively within the letters, aksharas of the richas. Thank you very much.